everyone, my name is Elva. Welcome to Flamy Sims and welcome to another speed build. I hope you're all doing well and having such a beautiful day. So today we are building another tiny house for our family. But this time we're building in Oasis Springs, which is my most favorite world ever. And I know it's Tuesday, which we will be getting a new game pack in just a few hours from now. But actually, in my time zone, the game pack will be releasing Wednesday midnight, so 12 a.m. Wednesday. So I feel like I have to do another tiny house build before we got with the game pack. But I'm so excited with the what is the name? Dream Home Decorator game pack. I think it's so beautiful. I've seen some of the like assets on Twitter and even on YouTube. And yesterday we have seen. I mean, I have seen. A few videos from those who have early access of the game pack and I am so excited I will be downloading that pack like a few hours from now which will be like tomorrow for me but for most of you it will be like a few hours from now but I'm not sure when I will be playing with that game pack because I have day job and I am not sure if I can play with that game pack like immediately after I download it but we will see I have a few builds I mean a few like shell I did decorate the exterior but I haven't done anything with the interior so we will see and I still have a bunch of ideas in mind to play with that um, pack especially the kitchen sets and the modular sofa which is very exciting I am so excited to play with that game pack but anyway this is a two bedrooms two bathroom house just like my previous builds I know it's kind of repetitive but I've been loving this type of builds very recently so here we are now but on this build we don't use ladder we have a staircase so it's more realistic ish but the master bedroom which you will see in just a little bit it's kind of a it's not a lofty area but it takes up the whole floor you will see in just a second so the floor plan on this house is not the greatest I would say that the first floor or the ground floor floor plan is decent I would say but the upstairs is not really I'm so sorry about that but it's functional I've play tested everything it's all functional and to be honest I'm not really into this um, countertops from snowy escape because it's very open and we don't have the option to have the close one because I don't want to leave that empty without any clutter because it looks odd for me so I have to put a lot of clutter items on that countertop so it makes everything looks realistic I would say even though it's just not my most favorite and in real life I think it's not the most easy way to store up your like utensils because the dust imagine the dust especially if all of them are open like that i i just can't but i put a bunch of um, clutter items here so it looks more lively and i really am happy with the end result because it's just not very often for me to kind of fill up the whole countertop i mean the clutter part but I also decided to put a microwave here so you will see in just a second and just like my last build I put another no CC art gallery by Canatron 16 I mean their art is beautiful I just can't stop so I'm, I'm sorry about that but anyway the kitchen is almost done and we just have to put some not some a rug actually and the microwave and I think that's it so I have to say that even though this house is not that big but it doesn't count as a tiny house because the only reason is I use a bunch of platforms on the outside and platform counts as tiles so that's why this house doesn't count as a tiny house even though if we don't count the platforms i believe this will count as a small home at, at least i think i'm not sure but i think it could 
so I'm terribly sorry about that but it is what it is the game decided to count platform as a tile so yeah but this is an open space between the living dining and kitchen so I tried to make this very open as open as possible so it doesn't feel very cramped and in real life I don't want to have very cramped room because it's just not very pleasant I would say because it's just not very pleasant and I use this for a normal um, couch but pair it with the um, eco lifestyle chair I know it's not very common to find someone use that combo but I think it looks nice on this build I don't know why maybe the the color and this is the dining the dining is only for three people but yeah this house is only for three sims so anyway if you decided to play on this house and you want to bring more sims to I don't know maybe dinner party or I don't know anything your sim can also eat on that couch and the chair so total you can put up to six sim for like dinner party or anything like that so we're good and this is the kids bedroom so the kids bedroom is fairly big I would say it's not that small and I put this orange um, bed from eco lifestyle I think I overuse eco lifestyle way too much and I'm so sorry because eco lifestyle is my most favorite pack I can't play my game without eco lifestyle it's so hard to play my game without eco lifestyle because every single furniture is just my most favorite thing in the game beyond get together or even seasons or even city living I know it's a bit controversial but that's just how the way I feel about equal lifestyle so we have this kind of like weird connection I mean me and the pack I just love equal lifestyle so so much so I'm sorry if I overuse that and maybe you kind of bored of it I'm so sorry but anyway this is the bathroom so this is a 2 by 3 tiles bathroom yeah everything's fully furnished you have a shower a sink and a toilet not like my other like previous build that doesn't have a sink everything's on this house is like fully furnished so you don't have to worry about anything and this is the master bedroom it's a bit it's a bit odd the the floor plan is a bit odd the staircase is kind of in the middle of the room but it is what it is this is the best floor plan that I could because we have two access to the balcony on both sides so one is from the like actual bedroom space and the other one is from the bathroom I have no idea why I decided to do that but that's just because the floor plan this house looks fine on the outside but on the inside especially on the second level it's not the greatest I'm so sorry and to tie everything together I decided to use this bed from seasons I think it's the most used bed for everyone I mean the bed is just so beautiful the texture the design everything's just looks very comfortable and very gorgeous so I understand why everyone loves that bed even though it has that like bright neon green swatch which I've never used but it's such a beautiful bed and this is the other bathroom so the ensuite bathroom yeah the, the floor plan is a bit weird but at least it's all functional and I've play tested everything my sim can access both sides of the bed my sims can take a shower even wash hands and do everything on this bathroom so I'm so happy with the end result and to be honest the only reason why I built this because I've been wanting to build something with the color like pale blue and lilac but we don't have that many options with like purple color family on this game so we'll see maybe with the new game pack we'll be getting a new like color swatch for purple I'm not sure though but we will see and now we're on the backyard so this is the backyard and the backyard have only couple dining chairs outside dining chairs and the table and a grill and maybe two planters from eco lifestyle I think that's it yeah I think that's it so everything is just very simply made I would say it's not very 
It wasn't really long for me to finish this build. The only reason why it took me about three hours to finish because the floor plan, it took me almost an hour to kind of figure out the floor plan. I know it's kind of ridiculous, but I've been there. I mean, I'm not the only one, I think, that ever been struggle with the whole floor plan. But anyway, we are now just finishing up the landscaping on the backyard. It's just so simple. I've never built anything this simple, I think. Almost all of my builds have this very like overground style for the landscaping. So this is kind of new for me. I mean, yeah, we still have a little bit overground landscaping on the front, but that's it. On the back, even on the side of the house, it's not that overground. It's more like structured, like well-shaped landscaping which i do love too so yeah i think that is it we just have to finishing up the landscaping a little bit and we'll be heading on to the screenshot so if you want to download this build this has been up on the sims 4 gallery you could find it under my eaid which is selfatiera or under the hashtag Climby sims you could also click the link in the description box below that will bring you to the website gallery as well as the other link to grab the tray files from simple share so yeah, I really hope you did enjoy this video and if you do, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Also, make sure to be subscribed to the channel if you haven't already and if you want to, you could also ring the bell so you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video. And if you have any comments or suggestions regarding my build or my channel in general, just please let me know. You can drop it on the comment below or simply DM me on Twitter or Instagram. I have all of my social media handles on the description box below so if you want to say hi to me maybe on instagram or on twitter the link is in the description box below so anyway i'm gonna write this voiceover right now thank you so so much for joining me today and supporting my channel enjoy the rest of the video and the screenshots and i'll see you in the next video bye